joining us in. There we go, everybody. You'll see that little message up there. We got the Ferris wheel on the background. Let's check our microphone. Let's make sure we're set up. Oh, we're not. Let's get it up on this microphone up here. We'll get, oh, there we go. Now this thing just lit up like a Christmas tree. And um, all right. Nice, everybody. So happy to have you here. It's a Friday for a lot of us. And um, you know what that means here in San Diego, another rainy weekend, right? Oh my gosh. We're tired of the rain. It's not, we're ready for sunshine, for San Diego sunshine. That's why we live here. Uh, for those folks who don't live in San Diego, well, that's why we live here. It's because normally it's very, very sunny and very, very pleasant. And But they're saying that it might be raining tomorrow, uh, even maybe a little bit today and uh, going into Sunday. So be, be thoughtful of that. If you need to, you know, go out somewhere, make sure you're taking all the appropriate measures to do that. And I uh, hope you have a great weekend still. I'm hoping tomorrow, I hope the rain doesn't happen because I'm planning to go to the Miracle League of San Diego. I'm going to go watch some of the baseball games there. And I'm really excited about doing that. And so hopefully um, I'll get some, maybe some pictures and stuff and we can have one of those pictures up on our background. Let's go ahead and let's get things kicked off with our breathing motto and uh, how about I'll take a shot at it. I'll, I'll do the breathing motto to kick things off. We got Clinton in the house. Hey, Clinton. Oh, it's great to see you, Clinton. Clinton, if you're going to be on for a little bit, uh, Karen and Ben and Carrie, let's make sure we can bring Clinton up for some leadership today. That would be terrific. And uh, if you want to be a leader and uh, you can let us know in the chat room and then we can have some leadership going on today. Remember on Wednesday, we had Nick's strength test. Oh my gosh. I went back and watched the YouTube video. It was awesome. Um, but all right, here we go. Let's get the breathing motto in five, four, three, two, one, breathe in the good, breathe out the bad, breathe in the happy and breathe out the sad, breathe in your best and breathe out the worst. And breathe in your power so you reach your goals first. Nice job, everybody. Again, that breathing motto, me and Bernie, we created that breathing motto so many years ago. And we would sing it while we were running around the Village Green. Bernie, that was so much fun. And I'm so happy we get to share that with everybody. Let's go ahead and have some water, everybody. I got my green cup. Here it is. Where is it? I don't, it's right here. I don't you know. Get my trapezius going. Oh, Nick, what a great example, everybody. We were just talking about it. You have a, a get a green water bottle? Yeah. I'd like to get maybe a green water bottle with like, it might say true fit on the side so that the water bottle will disappear. But the word true fit, like on my shirt, that would stay. I'm going to look in. That's a good idea. so Go and that, we'll blow in the air. I could be drinking out of it right now. Nobody would know. <laughs> right? Um, everybody remember, thanks to Karen, we have the idea of this green screen. So I'm not really standing in front of a great big Ferris, Ferris wheel. I'm actually right here. I'm, I'm poking a green curtain that's right there. You can see it kind of moving. Oh, look right there. Whoop, whoop. And uh, so it's kind of neat. If you ever have a picture that you would want to see on the green screen as a background, let us know. You can put uh, ideas in the chat room. And if you have a picture, you know, in the past, we've had people send in their artwork. We've had people send in all kinds of beautiful creations, uh, even diamond painting. Who knows about the diamond painting? Well, I'll tell you what, we've had some diamond painting on the background here. Carrie knows. Um, so, so you can send it in. We can put your artwork or your pictures up here too. And I think that would be really cool. Let's go ahead and get started. Hey, Nick, next week, I have a strength test. For you have a OT. strength test next week? Yep, for OT. Oh my gosh, that's great. I, I, how are you feeling? Are you feeling good? Yeah. Next Excellent. week is my last week in OT. You know, I me, still me, have me. to do PT. That's okay. Yeah, and, and, and PT something... Just like our exercises we do here, you can do that for 
uh, for forever because it's all about keeping yourself healthy and strong, making sure that you don't get injured in the future. And, you know, sometimes, and even myself, I've had an injury. And then before I could even get recovered, I got another injury. And then I'm trying to recover from two. And then I got injured again. And then that's when you got to kind of start to take it easy. Uh, That's hard for me to do. Um, all right, let's get our head moving around again. I'm thinking about Nick still with some of his exercises. Nick, we're going to bring you up here in a minute. Um, and we'll have you help us out with some of the, uh, the warm up too, once we get going. So let's start by going side to side. It looks like over here we have, it looks like two orange. Look at that. I'm, I'm really not good with the backward screen. You'd think by now it'd be better. Uh, two orange ones here. So let's go side to side. We're just going to be looking over at these orange Ferris wheels and uh, moving our head in a side to side, right and John, left. John, that's direction. orange and green. Which one? Well, oh, well, this one's green up here. I'll see no. that one. Look that there. One. That one's kind of red. Up it's more. Up. Yeah, right there. You just had it. No, up. Nope. Go back. Nope. Yep. Nope. Up. Up, yep, right there. Oh, a green top. Green top. Green top. All right. Who's been on a Ferris wheel before? I think I have. It's been a long time. Here we go. Let's go ahead and go side to side. So we're going to move that head over here. Let's check out the Ferris wheel. Look at the top. Look at the bottom. Bring it over to the left side now. And again, looking, you can kind of imagine you're really getting a good look at it. And we're just going to go across. Let's go across again. Now on the next across, let's go up and let's look at the very next one up, just a little bit up, just a little bit higher. So this was here and now I'm up here. And then let's go ahead and let's go kind of down and across like we're looking down at that opposite Ferris wheel. All right, so I'm down this way, not here, down here. Now let's go up even one more. So I'm gonna go up this way. And now look at that, I've moved my head over, but now I'm, I'm also pretty much going up and then let's go ahead and do the same thing, bringing it down. So I'm looking down. I'm looking down at my left foot. And now let's look straight up. Let's go up to the top Ferris wheel car. And we're going to be going up here, lifting our chin. And let's look at the bottom Ferris wheel car. Bringing it all the way down. All right, now let's go to the one that's up over here. Let's go ahead and bring our head up this way. And then let's go ahead and bring our head back down. So this one down here, we're going to check them all out. Let's go ahead and go back over this way. And then let's go ahead and move down to this one. And we're one away from being right back where we started, left and right. Ferris wheel is a great thing to think about when you're doing head and neck movements. You know, the Ferris wheel, a clock. What are some other round shapes that we could think about Um at the at the who's seen at the casinos they have that wheel that spins around and they have the different green and red what's that call I forgot what that roulette what else is round that that would spin anyway there's a lot of things you can think about when you're exercising and that's going to get us moving our head and neck in all kinds of different positions all kinds of different directions let's go ahead and do our ear lift so let's imagine that we're trying to get the ear we're trying to listen listen to what's going on in that there we go up there. They're talking about something good. And then we'll bring our head right back to the middle. And let's do a, a switch. Let's go ahead and go around like a Ferris wheel. And then we'll do the other ear. So we'll go ahead and just go all the way around, bringing my head down, bringing it up and right back here to the middle. And now let's go with this ear lift. So I'm going, I got this one going up. A merry-go-round. That's another, that's a great one. Absolutely. Got my ear going up, and then let's go ahead and go around. So I'm going to bring it all the way around, going down, going up, and back into the middle. Let's go ahead and go with that first ear one more time. So this is the first ear I started with. Now I'm doing it the second time, holding it up. I got it up. I got the stretch in my neck. You can see the stretch. You can see it. Three, two, one. And then let's go around, down. And back into the middle. And one more time with this ear. This is the second ear or the fourth ear. Depends on how you want to look at it. Although, does anybody here have four ears? No. I can't imagine. Let's keep it going. There's the stretch right there. That's where I want to get. I want to stretch out this whole zone. Three, two, one. And then let's bring it around. And back to the middle. Nice. 
Let's do the giraffe neck turtleneck. This is one of my favorites. This might be my favorite, although I'm getting really good at the ear lift. A top spinning. Yeah, spinning top. Absolutely. Ooh, and you know what else? Like some board games, you have like a dial that you spin on the board game and it might have different numbers or different colors or something like that. And so again, when you think about that, when you're doing your head and neck movements, you're, you're going to get a great workout for your neck. And we, we need that. A lot of people don't appreciate their neck, but we do because this is a very important part of our body right in here. All this very important. Let's go ahead and go forward with the giraffe neck. So we're reaching out our necks going away from our shoulders. And then I'm going to bring it back. Just like the, like I got my chin, my chin's going back into my neck. And then let's go out. So the chin, think about your chin, your mandible, your teeth. Think about moving them far away from your shoulders. And then think about trying to get them right over the top, right over the top of your body. So look at my chin's, where's my chin? My chin's right here. And then here we go. Go giraffe. <laughs> so I'm trying to keep my shoulders here. My chin's going out. And then one more turtle. We're going to work. Holding it here for five, four, three, two, one. Nice. With that turtleneck and giraffe neck, remember, it's like we're trying to go up high, too. We don't we don't want to we don't want necessarily just tuck our chin. It's not a chin tuck. It's a chin chin backwards. And that's going to take that might be that in the ear lift. Those might be the two first exercises that are really going to start to challenge our mind body connection. Now, another one that can sometimes be challenging is that trapezius lift. And we saw we saw Nick the other day. He was getting some good trapezius lifts. There's a little pop up popped up. He was getting some good trapezius lifts. And you all saw me. I was getting really excited for Nick when that was happening during our warm up. But let's go ahead and get some more trapezius going up. Nick, how many people do you think they can fit on this Ferris wheel? I don't know. We could probably figure it out, though. If you could probably, it looks like you could fit four people, maybe in each basket. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, probably 13, 14, 15, 16. There's probably 16 baskets. What's 16 times four? Does anybody know that? What is that? 16 times four. I don't know. That's an easy one. Though. I should know that. 16 times, what is that? 64? Might be 64. I don't know. Let's try one more. One side going up on one. So one up and down. I think it is 64. Somebody, Somebody's going to correct me if I'm wrong. There we go. Up and down. Uh, it's true. You could probably, you could have more adults than kids. So oh, this number is getting really, it's getting all over the place. I don't know anymore. Let's hold it up. Let's do like a real big, I don't know. There's no way. There's no way to figure. What if you have a dog? What if you have a parrot on your shoulder? Does the parrot count as a passenger and bringing them down? Ooh now, do you feel that? That's your trapezius. That's the muscle right here. It's going to be connecting into our neck and it's going to be connecting into our shoulder and it's going to be connecting down into the middle of our back. That's what gives it its T shape in the middle of our back. So by mobilizing it and moving it around. So it's doing a lot. 32, I put in the chat box. I sent you a message. 32. That's how many? Ben did the math. Let me double check. I think that's oh, Ben's going to say 32. I'm gonna buy, I'm taking it. Ben's right. All right, here we go, everybody. Let's do a little forward and backward with the shoulders. So this is kind of hard to see with my black shirt on, but but you kind of know. It, again, forwards and backwards. That's all we're doing. We're trying to again the trapezius. You can see I'm trying not to do this right. I don't, I'm not doing that. My shoulders are down, but they're going forward. We got Carla in the house. Carla's here. Oh my gosh. Hey Carla. Wow. We haven't seen Carla in a while, but we've been we've been giving her shout outs on YouTube. Oh my gosh. Is she in the Hague? Let's see. Let's ask her real quick. Carla, are you in the Hague? Yes. Do you want to show us something? Let's, yeah. I'm gonna bring you up. Look at this, everybody. That is the Netherlands. 
Oh my gosh, it's cloudy there like it is here. Wow, Carla, it looks nice there. Look at all the trees and Thank everything you. behind you. Are you enjoying yourself? Oh yes. Is it is it very early in the morning or very late at night? Oh, you say that again. 8:15 here. At nighttime? Yeah. Wow. Oh my gosh. And it's still Carla, daytime. Thank you. thank you for showing that to us. That is You're so welcome. great. Have a good time with your sister hanging out. Again, everybody, that was a sneak peek at The Hague. That's the name of the town. It's the name of the city. And um, it's actually a very important place in Europe. And it's in the Netherlands. And right now, Carl is there on the other side of the world. Beautiful place up there by England and Finland and Denmark and uh germany's up there there are a lot of countries that are up that way and right now carla is up there too sharing workouts with everybody there all right let's go ahead and we got our neck moving we got our shoulders moving let's get into our arms a little bit and let's do some of our classic moves let's start with carrie's bear hug let's do four of those and we're gonna do the little side to side twist too so bringing the elbows back bringing the elbows across Let's go side to side, and then we'll do the crocodile arms two times. One and two. Nice. Now we're going to bring them back. We're going to bring them across. We're going to go one side. Oh, well, I'm with the Ferris wheel on this one. One side, one and two. Crocodile arms. Here we go. We got two more to go. Elbows back. Give yourself a hug. Go one side. Go to the other side. And one and two. We got one more. Here we go. Elbows back. Elbows across. I'm going to tip over here. I'm going to tip over there. And then here we go with the crocodile. One and two. Nice job, Scott and Lisa. That was excellent. Oh, my gosh. We got Bernie's here. We got everybody. Nick, that was terrific. I got a bunch of my friends on here. And we're, again, doing some of Coach Emily's exercises mixed in with that. Let's keep with the arms. But uh, we're not going to use... Where this is going to be neat to say, we're going to work out with our arms, but we're not going to use a lot of the muscles in our arms. So let's think about that. We're going to be using the arms, but if we're not going to be using the muscles in the arms, what would we then be using? Is it the muscles in our legs? Eh, you know, maybe, but no. Muscles in our core? Eh, maybe, but no. So what would be the muscles that could move the arm without the arm doing anything? Well, again, that's going to be the muscles in the shoulder. So the muscles in your shoulder, the muscles in your upper body, they're all going to be responsible. And let's go ahead and just work on bringing a, a high back elbow and a high front elbow. So we're going back and forward, back. And you can do this with one side. And again, we're working on using these muscles in here to move the arm. I'm not using my bicep. I'm not using my forearms. My hand isn't moving. I'm just moving my shoulders. Well, I'm getting a nice stretch through the triceps, that's for sure. And a stretch through the biceps. But the shoulder, remember, it's going to be the main mover in this position. So let's go forward and back. Let's go one more on this side, one up, one down. Now let's go to the other side. So I'm just bringing up and down and up. And I feel a difference. Do you all, do you feel a difference on maybe one side when you do it on one side than the other? I sure do. I have tightness in this shoulder. I always have since I was in the Navy and I'm always kind of working on it. But this shoulder for me acts differently than this shoulder for me. And um, so I can feel it when I'm doing this. So this is good that I'm doing these things independently. Let's go ahead and do them both together. So let's bring two up and two back, two up. There we go. And two back, two up. And two back. Now look at what muscle, look at this. When I bring them back, look at what muscle gets involved. It's the trapezius. So even the trapezius and the trapezius isn't really too connected in the same way as other shoulder muscles are, but it's getting involved too. So two up, two back. This is almost like we're skiing. Let's do a little skiing. So now let's go ahead and pretend we have some ski poles. And now we are going to use those triceps that Karen was talking about. So we're going to have our ski poles. We're going to go down. And then we're going to straighten our arms out. So we have our ski poles here. We're going to go down and straighten them. And then we're going to bring them kind of right back up. 
kind of right up here by our shoulders. So let's do, um, let's go for 20. Here we go. So I got my ski poles and we're going to go one, two, three. So I'm using my triceps four. You can see the tricep, that's the tricep right there. Here we go. Five, we're using our biceps. Six to bring the poles back up. Seven, eight, and we're using the muscles in our shoulders. Nine, 10, to do most of the work. 11, just like with the elbow. 12, here we go. 13, 14, 15, 16, up, 17, back, 18, 19, and 20. Nice. So remember, just that imaginary ski pole movement, that's now getting our biceps and our triceps working a little bit, but still the shoulders are doing most of the work. Now let's go ahead and do only biceps. So let's do this one. Let's go one up, one down, the other one up, down, and both up and down, just like that. So we're going to go one, two, two. That's how we count. We go one two, three. Nice. So this is bicep. One, two, four, one, two, five. All right. Now let's try with the tricep. With the tricep, there's a lot of things we can do, but let's think about our triceps helping us with a push. So when, you, when you're pushing with the tricep, so right now my tricep is long and the bicep is short. If I go this way, the bicep is now long and the tricep, you can see a little piece of it right there, is now shorter. So what we want to do is we want to push away to where the tricep is going to push with the chest. Then we're going to pull back. So again, we talked about this on Wednesday when Nick was getting ready for his strength test. Let's go for 10 push pulls. So we're going to go one, two. So we got tricep press. Bicep pull, three, three, four, four. We're also getting the rhomboids, five, five. The trapezius, six, six. And the deltoids, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, and ten. Nice job, everybody. I saw a lot of good pushes there. Remember, when you're pushing something, you're going to be using your triceps, your deltoids, your chest, and your core. A lot of core muscles, even muscles in your hips. When you're pulling on something, you're going to be using your biceps, again, your deltoids, your rhomboids, a little bit of that trapezius, a little bit of the muscle here that's called your lats. Some of your armpit muscles are going to get involved. And... um. Again, they're two very opposite movements, but they're all the same area of the body, but two very different muscle groups. Let's have a sip of water and let's do, um, let's get our deltoids and deltoids and armpits. So think about this right now. I can feel my body. I don't have to touch the muscles to kind of, I can feel them in my mind. I can feel, I can feel my shoulders. You know, I can tell they've been doing something. I can kind of feel my arms now. I can kind of tell, I can, I can just feel like they've been doing something. But I don't notice that in my deltoids, in my shoulders. And again, a lot of the exercises that we were doing, the deltoid wasn't really the prime mover, wasn't the number one muscle. So let's go ahead and make the deltoid kind of that number one muscle. And we can do that. We're going to do a, a chicken wing followed by an arm raise, followed by a front raise. So let's all think about our deltoids because it's about to change. All right, we're going to, uh, they feel, oh, they feel fine. They feel good. I can shake them out, shake it out. It feels good. Doesn't feel, doesn't feel a whole lot. Let's change that up. So let's go. Chicken wing, arms out raise, arms in the front raise. There's one. Chicken wing. Arms out, arms front, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, five, one, good job, everybody, two, six, one, 
two, seven. One, two, eight. Who's starting to feel it? One, oh, I am. Two, nine, one, two, ten. Let's try five more. One, two, eleven. One, two, wow, twelve. I'm feeling it now. One, two, thirteen. One, two, fourteen. One, two, fifteen. All right, now feel. Wow, I can feel in just my mind. I can feel these muscles here. Again, like they did a lot of work. I don't know, my biceps didn't do a lot of work. Some, and that's the thing is sometimes you might have not have got all the way to 15, and that's okay. You got yourself to your, your furthest point, which is terrific. And now you can set a goal. Now you can think about that and think, wow, I was feeling it around number eight. When I got to number eight, these muscles, and I still feel them. Do you feel that too? I still feel them. Let's shake them out a little bit. Let's shake them out, shaking them out, shaking them out. And when I count to three, we're going to go armpit squeeze in one, two, three. Squeeze, 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 squeeze your arms against your side. Squeeze it three, two, one. And then let's shake it out again. I'm shaking it down low right now. This is, I call this one the down low shake where you're letting your arms just kind of hang out. Let's go one, two, three, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze your arms right here, right here, squeeze it. Look at that. I cannot, I cannot poke myself there. I'm squeezing it together. Keep it going. And one, two, three. I'm going to do kind of like a, a shake out here to the side. And that's another thing too. I was feeling it like Karen's talking about. I was feeling a little more on one side than the other. And so this is a kind of like a side shake. With the side shake, I'm using my deltoids, but I'm still just shaking things around, side shake. Let's go ahead and one, two, three, squeeze, 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 squeeze in those armpits. Keep it going, squeezing. And three, two, one. I'm going to do an overhead shake now. So overhead shake, I got my arms up high. I'm shaking them out in the sky, moving them around like I'm making a pizza pie. Here we go. It'd be a pizza that nobody would want to buy. All right, <laughs> shaking them out. One, two, three, squeeze. Here we go, squeeze this is the last squeeze. Here we go, and three, two, one. And then shaking them out in front, shaking them out in front. So I'm shaking them out. I'm in front of, you can tell, I'm in front of my body. I'm just shaking them out, doing the pizza flip, right? Here we go, in five, four, three, two, one. Who's ever made a pizza from scratch? Anybody ever done the with the dough where they they flip the pizza dough? Is anybody, is anybody, you know what I'm talking about, right? Where they kind of, I don't even know how they get the dough like that, but then they like spin the dough and it, it goes flying in the air. I've never done that, but I'd like to. I feel like I would make a big mess if I tried to do that. I might be something I should do outside. Let's drink some invisible water. All right, nice. Let's go ahead and bring up... Um, Okay, but not the flip, but making the pizza from scratch. Nice. I like I like that. Let's go ahead and bring uh, Nick. Let's get you ready, my friend. I want you to come up and join us. Give us two, two core exercises. And if you want to make it a co one of them a combo, go ahead and, and make it a combo too. Everybody, I was so proud of Nick on Wednesday. He did five exercises. He put up five new records. He did an incredible job. I was so impressed with Nick and it was just really, really great to be there kind of seeing him as he's improving to get to stand next to him and witness that. And then even, even more cooler, I thought was that we were getting to share it with all of you sharing it with our friends and look at Nick, Nick, how are you feeling? You look great. I'm feeling strong. The men when they, when they would, I think one of the big workout that we ever done in 14 years. Yeah, I feel like it was one of the best workouts that we've done too. And and Nick, you remember we were talking about it, and this is something, Carrie, me and Nick were talking about it, that when you when you have a test coming up, and it can be a strength test or it can even be like an academic test, any kind of test, that you're you're gonna whether you're ready or not you're going to be where you are. 
But if you're confident in your abilities, you'll do a better job than if you aren't confident in your abilities. So however strong you're going to be, that's how strong you are. And that's something that it takes time to change. But what can change is how you believe in yourself and your confidence going into the strength test, knowing that you're going to do a great job. And Nick was showing us that. Look, Nick's playing his best frozen face game right now. Um, But again, the confidence, it will actually make you a better player. Did anybody watch, and Ben knows about this, did anybody watch the basketball game for the basketball championships? And it was the, um, who was it, Ben? It was UConn versus um, Purdue. Purdue. And it got, it got to a point in the game, and I know Ben would probably agree with me, it got to a point in the game where Purdue was no longer confident that you could see the guys didn't believe that they were going to win. And the guys on the other team, on UConn, you could see their confidence, and they knew. They knew they were going to win. They just knew it without a doubt, and it was obvious, and that was all about confidence. Both teams were great teams, but the one that believed in themselves the most, that was the team that won. What do you think about that, Ben? you think that's true? I mean, it's through history. I mean, it's through through sports history. It's the best team or the best – with. The most confidence can win. So it's isn't that awesome? Matter of mindset too. The mindset. The mindset. Because basketball is basketball. Once you're good at it, you're good at it. When you're great, you're great. But if you're not confident in yourself, it's gonna it's gonna make your performance suffer. So Nick, I want you to have that. I'm same learning confidence how to right be here. confident in myself when I in my therapy. Absolutely, you are. Yeah, I'm learning. And, and gonna, believing in myself. Yes. Thank you, Carrie. And I thought I you, John, I thought this class was hard. But yeah. therapy is hard. It's it's therapy is tough. There there is a timeline and there are goals and it, it, it can be it can be a serious thing. And I thought I'm glad, you were hard. I'm glad you're taking it serious. I thought you were hard doing this class. Carrie, I could relate. You me, you know, in my younger years. I get what you feel. It's 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 not fun. It's a lot of paperwork. Yeah, it's a lot of oh, and you have to do. I have to do PT and then next OT in the same day. Nice. It's okay. like it's I'm only going to so, make you stronger though. So, so tired when I get home. That's the goal. Yep, Nick. Were you tired after that workout on Wednesday? Oh yeah, it did like the. Yep, and that. But are you still tired from it now? No. Are you feeling energized now? Damn it, man. You look energized. Go ahead and take it away. I want you to show us some confidence. What do we got? Do we do a stairway front weight? Okay, we're going to do a twist. Stairway front weight. Twist and a raise. But that spin. Baton spin. Then we would do an inchworm. Inchworms. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk down my legs and get down as low as I can go. And then I'm do push, I'll be pushing myself up. So when I'm pushing myself up, I'm actually I'm putting pressure on that arm. I'm I'm not just coming up. I'm using my arms. Nick's showing us how it's done. I'm getting down low. Nice job, Nick. Going up, going up with the inchworm. Then we will do a front raise. Front raise. Raising it up in front. Looks like he's doing two or three front raises. Then we will do bicep curl. Bicep curl. Going for the bicep curl. Bye, Carla. Have a good night. Enjoy the And hang. then they do a squat. And then we're going to do a squat. Then we do up overhead. Up over our head, behind our Another neck. Another squat. Another squat. That's the back squat. And then high knee. High knee. Yeah. That's the combo. You ready? Yeah. You remember it all? Yeah. All right. Here we go. Twist and lift. Twist and lift. Back into the middle. Baton spin. 
Baton spin. Inchworm. Walking down. I'm walking down my knees. I'm walking down the front of my legs. All the way down to my ankles. And then back up again. Pushing back up. Using pressure. Using pressure. Nice job. Are we doing two? We are. We're going back yep. down again. Back down again. Using pressure. Walking down my legs with my arms. This is an arm and core exercise. Nice. All right. Inchworm, inchworm. Front raise. Three front raises. Two. And three. Going over, over our head behind our neck. Oh, Five bicep eight. curls. You're right. Nick, Nick knows the order. I forgot. Go ahead. We got five bicep curls. Now we're going for the, the squat with the bicep hold. All right. Doing squats. And then we're going to go. Now it's the over the head behind the neck and then doing more squats. Nice. How many? Three. Three is a good yeah. number. All right. And then the high knee. Bring it down for the oh. high knee. Pop. Pop. You going to do it one more time? Oh, yeah. Let's try it out. All right. Here we go. Everybody, we're getting the hang of this. I'm doing it with no stick. You can do it with no stick, too. Let's see. And remember, when we're doing the doing the inchworm, just walk down your leg. So twist and turn, twist and turn. Nick's going for three. He's going baton spin. This is how three. I do the baton spin. Going for three. Bringing it around, spinning it around. Third time's the charm. Going for the inchworm now, walking down. Three times. Three times up and down, all the way down, got my ankles, and then I'm going to push back up and then going down again, working it down, all the way down. So I'm touching my ankles and then coming up my legs, over my knees, across my quadriceps to my hips, and then I'm back here. We got one more. We're going for three. So I'm going quadriceps down to my knees, down to my anterior tibialis, my shins. Working back up. I'm at my knees. I'm at my quadriceps and back up. Nice job. What was next? We had uh, bicep curls. One. Wait. You did. Front raise. That's right. Front raise. Three One, front raises. Two and three. Bicep and, curls. Yeah. Five bicep One, curls. Two and three. And they do One. Walk with the bar in front. Yeah. Two. And three, and three, behind the leg, leg deck. Nick, you're getting tired. This is a good one. What? Sit back, sit back. High knee, oh, high knee. One. one high knee, one. high knee. There you go. Sit, stick your butt out. Go back up. Stick out your butt. Oh, high knee. Oh, he's doing the combo of squat, high knee, high knee. Bringing it back again. Stick out your butt like you're trying to put your butt. There you go. Everybody, look at the position of his body. Look how balanced he is. Back and then going up. And up. Three. Nice job, Nick. That was awesome. And thanks for demoing that difference in the squat. So, everybody, when you do a squat, if you're somebody who maybe sits down, Nick's going in a bicycle mode. Let's keep let's get those bicycles going. You can do a hand cycle or you can do the foot bicycle. Hand cycle actually would be like this, two hands. Bicycle style would be like this. Nice job. When you are squatting down, there's, there's two things you can do. One thing is lean forward. That's what you don't want to do. The other thing is to sit back. That is what you want to do. So if you're sitting into a chair or if you're going to a restroom or you're sitting down on the couch or you're sitting down at the baseball game, when you go to sit down, you want to start your sit by first sticking out your butt. It sounds <laughs> funny, but it helps. What it does for your what it does for your body is it allows your body to follow a path that keeps your weight balanced. If you go forward, if you lean forward, your body's going to follow a path down that's going to go more to your knees. And less to your hips. I'm feeling this, Nick. How many more you want to do? And do it. Endurance. He's like endurance. Let's go. How about 20 more? John, I'm learning that the go forward, but yeah. not straight forward, side to side. Ooh, side to side. Absolutely. 
the to and then, get and, my and then, butt up to transfer. And then are you holding on to something with your arm or with your hand? My no. Nice. So a side transfer. Yep. You go nice. one side and your butt, you have uh, to look down. So you're kind of moving this way. Yeah. And then nice. it, the other direction too, to do it the opposite way. Okay. Very cool. Squats are important, everybody. It, it's, you got to think about gravity is trying to always push your body down always. And so when you're moving into a squat position, you're kind of working with gravity, but your muscles, they have to be in control or gravity will win. And that's called a fall. Anytime, anytime you fall down and you weren't planning on falling, that was gravity one. How about 10 very more, Nick? Scary. It can be scary. Yep. Here we go. Five. I've done that a couple times. Well, let's count down from 10. I fell down yesterday. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, let's give Nick a rest. Nick, you're getting strong, my friend. I Look am. at that endurance this guy had. He That was probably like two minutes worth of bicycle abs, and he was getting in the arm with the scissor, scissor lift. Oh, my gosh. I think that was the V-up, actually. I they can't. I think it was more like three. Probably it, it was he was going for it. We got Tyler in the house, Sammy's here, Bernie's in the house, Carl. Hey Carl, Lisa and Scott, you're doing a great job. Is um is Clinton there? Do we have do we have Clinton in the in the video there? Natalie, hi Natalie, hi Lorraine. We got his mom. Group. Mary Stone's there, but I don't know where they are. Okay, let's let's keep an eye out for them and if they do uh if we see clinton or mary it pop up looks maybe like we'll... they're at a library of some sort i just i saw my i'm looking at myself on their computer look at that look at that i'm waving to myself i'm in infinity world now that's so neat that was so neat i just saw myself on the computer there it looks like clinton had a had a baton he was maybe getting ready to use let's go ahead and do a round of um of cardiovascular Let's do um, let's do two cardiovascular exercises. Let's do some jumping jacks, followed by our boxing combo. So we'll do. How about let's go to um, the other day. I think we did forty-five jumping jacks. How about today? Let's do thirty-five. So do you 35, want Bernie up? Uh, I think she might be having lunch right now. Bernie, give me a thumbs up. Are you having lunch? Yeah, she's having lunch. Let's yeah. No, okay. yeah, Bernie, go go ahead and watch for this one. Um, and remember, looks, everybody, looks like Mary and Clint are up, Carrie. Oh, they are. Oh, well, let's, let's bring them up. I would love to have Clinton lead us in some exercises. Clinton, would you mind? Could you help us out and maybe lead us through an exercise or two? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, Clinton, that him looks blurry. Clinton, know, we got to come up, switch places with your mom. There we go. They're here. Here. Here, do the, we're going to do the kettlebell. Come closer. Clinton, come up a little closer next to your mom right there. That chair might be. Okay. Taking, Zoom's trying to figure out what to look at. Okay. I don't Clinton, know. Come, come over here right in front of the camera. Right in front. All right. Okay. okay. Clinton, Can I do it? Clinton, stand where your mom's standing, right in front. Oh, right That's here. the spot. Perfect, okay. Clinton. This is the spot. That's Up fine. and down. Nope. Five, one, two, three. All the way up. Four, five, six, slow down. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Go side to side. Side to side with your kettlebell. Side to side. There you go. Side to side. Side to side. Good job. 
Okay. Yeah. Let's do some karate. Jab, cross. Yeah. Do a jab, cross, and then a kick. Jab. Cross, kick. Jab. Cross. And then a kick. Let's do high block. Right. High block. High block. High block. High block. Let's do bear claw. Bear claw. There you go. Hammer. Hammer claw. Hammer. Hammer. Hammer claw. Hammer claw. Hammer claw. Yeah. Okay. Good job. Okay. Uh, what else? We don't have. Clinton, that was awesome. Taking us through some karate moves, taking us through the kettlebell exercises. Clinton, you did a terrific job. Thank you. Hey, John. Clint's uh, playing at Miracle League tomorrow at noon. Clinton, you're going to be. Oh, my gosh. I might see him there then. I think Bernie's game is at 10, and I'm going to be there and uh, watching the games. Good. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to them about entering the Home Run Derby on May 5th oh. yeah. and trying to help as a fundraiser. And oh, did, did, either, I... either having myself do it or I'm going to maybe ask my good buddy Jake Bowers um, mm -hmm. if he's available he loves baseball. I might invite him to take my spot hitting the home runs in the oh. derby. Yeah, but I'm I'm going to sign up for home run derby. Oh, wow. And then tomorrow. I think you should sign up to be a coach. I'm, I'm going to learn more about that tomorrow. Yeah. Too. It's um it's definitely something that I want to I want to get more involved in and the park here in Encinitas um is is pretty good not too far for me. And um, yeah, it's it, it's like kind of like waves for all, but with baseball, which I love. It. He's been doing it for years, and he's he wants to retire. Okay, well, yeah, you know, maybe maybe I can be an assistant coach to start. Yeah. Um, but everybody, we're talking about baseball. We're talking about Miracle League, and there's Miracle Leagues all over the country. Here in San Diego, there's a Miracle League. And I remember I was I just kind of found out about it by happen chance uh, a few weeks ago where I was at the park with Sophia and I saw a young man who had cerebral palsy and he was getting set up with his wheelchair. And I went up and said, hey, everybody, let me tell you about what we do. And they love to hear about it. And the next thing you know, I was meeting all kinds of families, all kinds of baseball players. And we had a great time. And so I'm so happy. I hope the rain holds off. And tomorrow I'm going to be at Miracle League in San Diego. And I might even see you there. Sounds like Clinton's going to be there. I think I think Bernie, the team leader, is going to be there too. Let's go ahead and get our jumping jacks going. Let's go for those 35 jumping jacks. And we'll follow those up with a boxing pattern. And let's do the boxing pattern three times. I'll do the first one slow, and the second two will move at kind of a, a normal speed, not slow, just kind of moving at your own pace. All right, here we go with our jumping jacks. Let's have a sip of water to kick those off. Remember, with the jumping jacks, we got options. We can do seated jacks, which is kind of like doing an overhead or in front of the body hand clap. If you're standing up, if you want to, you can bend your knees and kind of go up and down using your knees and kind of bending at your hips, just like we were kind of doing the squats with Nick. Or if you want, you can do the jumping jack, which you're going to jump and your feet are going to go apart when your arms go up. And then when you come back together, your feet come back together and your arms come down. I'm going to be doing the second version. That way the screen's not bouncing all over the place. So I'll be doing the squat jacks. And here we go. Remember, if you're having a bite to eat, make sure you've chewed all your food and swallowed it and had a sip of water before we do any kind of jumping around. All right, everybody, here we go in five, four, three, two, one, and jumping jacks. Here we go. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, Linda, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. 26, we're almost there. 27, 28, 29, and 35 more. 31, 32, 33, 34, and 35. Nice job. I saw people doing all the jumping jacks. I saw the, the seated jacks. I saw the squat jacks, and I saw people doing the jumping jack. That means that if you did that again, that's if you did the jumping jack, that was 35 times that you lifted your body off the ground. That's you winning against gravity. If you were doing those seated jacks, think of the arm workout and the core workout. Every time your arms go up, your core fires up and your deltoids and the trapezius, all of those shoulder muscles, they're all getting the workout. And if you're doing the squat jacks, that was 35 little squats in addition to getting the shoulders going and you're gonna feel the heart rate go. So let's get ready for our boxing combo. Let's see, just like Nick, it's something, it's a pattern. We have to remember the pattern and then we're gonna do that three times. So patterns are very important in fitness. There's a patterns in everything, just like in baseball. When you hit the ball, you don't run to third base. You don't run to second base. You don't run to the outfield. You run in a pattern. You go to first base, second base, third base, and then you come across home plate when all your fans are cheering for you because you hit a home run. But everything's a pattern. Everything in life is a pattern to some degree. Here we go. We're going to go in three, two, one, and punch. Punch. We got the hook coming from the side, hook. And then the uppercut from down low, then an uppercut. Then we have the down punch from up high, down punch. Then we're going to do a block, and then a block. Then let's do a duck, and a duck. Let's do an elbow and an elbow, then a high knee, high knee with a high kick and a high kick, then a high five and a high five and a low five and a low five and a clap. Wow, that's a lot of moves to remember. But think about this. At one point in time, we didn't even have the boxing pattern. We had no pattern. We created it. And now think about how many of you, you know, you know the pattern, you know what's coming. Here we go, a little faster in three, two, one, and punch, punch, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut, down punch, down punch, block, block, duck, duck, elbow, elbow, high knee, high knee, high kick, high kick. High five, high five, low five, low five, and clap. Remember, for the kick, if you're sitting down, we're doing a chop. We're doing a big karate chop. In the knee, we're going to do a high elbow, and you can do that for the seated position. All right, here we go. One more time. Regular speed. Three, two, one, and punch. Punch. Hook. Hook. Uppercut. Uppercut. Down punch down punch, block, block, duck, duck. I'm reading, oh, I'm reading and I got messed up. We got elbow, elbow, high knee, high knee, high kick, high kick, high five, high five, low five, low five, clap. Karen, did you want to join and do, oh, you then get back up. We're doing another one, everybody. Karen's joining us. Did you see what happened? And that's a perfect example of when you're following a pattern, if something pops up to try to get your attention, you might lose your rhythm. And you all saw me do that. When I started to read Karen's question, I totally forgot about the pattern. And that's part of the exercise, everybody. That's what makes it so cool is it gives me a way to challenge my mind. All right, Karen, are you ready? All right, I'm going to count I it think Nick want me to ask him. Can I, can I Nick do? 
You want to bring Nick up too? Yeah. All right, let's get Nick up in here as well. We're going to be showing off some moves, everybody. I love when we get our martial art gatherings going. I love martial arts, and I recommend that if you have a chance to do a martial arts class, whether it's in person, whether it's live um, on Zoom, I, I recommend it. I think it's a great thing to do. All right, uh, Karen, you count us down from five. Five, four, three, two, one. Punch, punch, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut, down punch, down punch, block, block, duck, duck, elbow, elbow, high knee, high knee, high kick, high kick, high five, high five, low five, low five, and clap. Nice job. Karen and Nick do an excellent job with that. Remember, everybody, martial arts are cool. Patterns are cool. It's all exercise. It's all about our wellness. It's all about getting our body to feel challenged and then to be able to accept the challenge and then to see how well we do. What's great about exercising and the workouts we do is unlike for Nick, you know, who yesterday on Wednesday, he had a strength test. Carrie's got a test coming up. Often when we're doing our workouts, there isn't, if there's not a test. You're just testing yourself to try to push yourself and to make yourself stronger. But what will happen if you keep doing that in life, that's when your tests are going to come up. And it's going to be not when you're expecting it, but maybe sometimes when you're not prepared, you're not even thinking about, I'm going to be physically tested today. And you do, and you get you said happens. And so you want to be prepared for all those physical, all those mental tests that are going to come our way. We want to have confidence. We want to believe in our abilities. We want to know that we can do it. And if we don't think we can do it, we want to know that we can try our best and feel good about the effort. And so it's super important, everybody, to think about fitness as something that can help our lives from so many different kind of areas of uh, assistance and it's really important that we take care of our bodies we eat healthy foods we get good sleep we're we're loving to all of our friends and families because love that's a part of fitness that's why we do carrie's bear hug everybody because we got to love ourselves and we got to love those people around us so very important to think about that as exercise uh, great job today. We had Clinton joining us. We had Ben, Karen, and Carrie all helping us with co-hosting. We had Nick coming up, giving us an incredible combo. Nick, I thought that was super cool. And uh, let's find out who we're going to have. Let's do uh, one more sip of water and let's check in and see if we have anybody for our breathing motto. And remember everybody, tonight at 6 p.m., we're going on like three years now. We do this every Friday night. We call it the fitness social because it's not a workout. It's a hangout. We're going to hang out. We're going to talk about all the cool things that everybody has going on. And it's from six to seven. Or if you got to go early, that's never a problem. And so again, everybody, yes, Bernie, I'll see you tomorrow at Miracle League. Bernie's going to be there, everybody. I cannot wait. Clinton's going to be there. I'm so excited about learning more about Miracle League and meeting all the great people there. Um, it sounds like we have somebody nominated Ben, and I like it for the breathing motto. Okay, okay. All right, Ben. I can do it. Take it away. Five, four, three, two, one. Breathe in the good. Breathe out the bad. Breathe in the happy. And breathe out the sad. Breathe in your best. And breathe out the worst. And breathe in your power. So that you can reach your goals first. Yes. Great job, Ben. Everybody, great job today. Give yourself a round of applause. That was a terrific workout. A great way to end off the week. We had a lot of good talking points that we brought up. And I'm so happy for everybody to have been here. For some of us, that was our third workout this week. So great job, everybody. That's three hours of exercise 
plus all the extra things that you're doing. Oh my gosh, everybody, do do great things. Keep that confidence up. And remember, if you're not feeling well or if you're worried about the rain and things like that, this time is going to pass. It's going to be sunny real soon, everybody. So let's be ready for that sunshine. Here we go. Nick giving us a countdown. Nick's getting unmuted and we're getting out of here. Maybe I'm going to have some lunch now. Here we go. How are you today? I'm good. You died tonight. Do I the dad about my twenty week? You died the more tonight. Here we go and bye, buddy. Do it on. Bye, everyone. Have a great weekend. Have a wonderful day. I hope to see you tonight at Thank six. You.